Welcome, and thank you for joining us to help you ace your Let's Move Active Schools Assessment and Action Plan. I'm Sean Gustafson, the Let's Move Active Schools Engagement Manager in New York City and Los Angeles. And I'm Pam Eichenbaum, Let's Move Active Schools Program Manager. We'd like to make this an active learning webinar where you can follow us on your own computers. So please open up your internet browser, log in at www.letsmoveschools.org and follow along. Sign in with your email and password that you use when you registered. If you forgot your password, click on Forgot Password and it will be sent to you in email. The entire Let's Move Active Schools team and many supporting organizations are here to help you lead the charge to make 60 minutes of physical activity for every student, every day, the norm in your school. Let's Move Active Schools helps schools develop a culture in which physical activity and physical education are foundational to academic success by streamlining the selection of programs, resources, professional development, and funding opportunities, and delivering a customized action plan, making 60 minutes of physical activity a day simple for teachers and strategic for administrators to implement. We all know that active kids do better, increase test scores, improve focus, better behavior, enhance teamwork skills, so we are thrilled to mobilize your expertise and leadership in providing more opportunities for quality physical education and physical activity before, during, and after the school day. Throughout this webinar, we will discuss why completing the Let's Move Active Schools assessment is an integral step to getting your students moving, as well as demystify the assessment questions and show you how to activate your customized action plan. First, let's talk about the value of the Let's Move Active Schools assessment. Consider it your growth chart or barometer for physical activity and physical education in your school. The assessment tool is designed to be the annual benchmark of your learning environment, showing where your school shines and areas where your school can improve your programming. Ensuring you are on par with national standards, trends, and developmental appropriateness. Let's Move Active Schools adopted the physical activity focuses of the CDC School Health Index for its assessment, making it easier for schools to implement proven policies and practices. Each time you take a step forward or make progress through the school year, make sure to update your assessment to unlock incentives along the way. After you log into your Let's Move Active Schools dashboard via www.letsmoveschools.org, first make sure your account is linked to your school. You should see your school name at the top of the page and in the right hand corner. Also, you may remember during registration, you had to select a membership role. You must be a team member to view and complete your school's assessment. Parents and community members can be fans, but they will not be able to see the assessment. If you need help linking your account to your school or changing the membership role or any other questions, you can always click on help at the top of the screen for detailed instructions. Also by clicking help, you will see how to call or email us. We are here for you, so don't hesitate to reach out. You will also see a progress bar on your dashboard displaying the status of your assessment and noting how many questions you have answered. To start or keep working on your assessment, select the evaluate prompt on the left menu. Depending on the grade level you work with, you will either have 9, 10, or 11 questions. Then, click on the assessment question to get started. Here's an example of a question that appears on every assessment for all grades K-12. to It addresses the availability of physical activity breaks during the school day. Take a second and read the question. After the question is followed by four answer choices. The bottom choice corresponds to the guideline not being in place. The next one is somewhat in place then mostly in place, and finally the top choice is fully in place. Since each school is unique in how it provides the opportunity for physical activity breaks during the school day, the choices allow for adaptability, autonomy, and flexibility. If you have trouble deciding between two different answer levels, we recommend selecting the lower level. You can always go back and update your assessment. For right now, just make sure to answer each question. You can update it at any time. The four selections for each question allows your school team to see improvement over time, and we recommend updating your assessment a couple times each year to celebrate the progress you're making to have a more active school environment. Another question format is designed by criteria. For example, in this health-related fitness question about integration of the Presidential Youth Fitness Program and Fitnessgram, the question lists the three necessary components, giving the Fitnessgram assessment to students, professional development about Fitnessgram, and student recognition for meeting the healthy fitness zones or their personal goals. 
You simply select how many of the components you currently integrate into your physical education program. And then to move between questions, you click Save and Next. We recommend taking about 10 minutes immediately after today to complete your assessment. It really only takes that long. After finishing your assessment, you are ready to activate your action plan. You will click on Activate on the left menu. The website automatically creates and delivers a customized action plan that meets the needs of your students and current school environment. The action plan includes the items your school has not fully implemented and matches you with the resources, tools, and grant opportunities to help you make progress in the identified areas. You can also print your action plan and share it with others at your school, like your wellness committee, your principal, the PTO, or the school board. Use this action plan as a way to jumpstart conversation around comprehensive school physical activity and to make the case for an active school environment. Let's get to the meat of the action plan. When you click on each action item, you will see a list of resources and strategies to help you implement the best practice in your school. For example, here is a list of free resources that are recommended for improving physical activity opportunities during the school day. One of the premier benefits of Let's Move Active Schools is that it brings together the best and most effective physical activity and physical education resources from its national cadre of leading health and education organizations into one place. The robust database is your source of all things, physical activity and physical education, including the resources, programs, professional development, grants, tools, implementation guides, all of which have been vetted and approved by national physical activity and physical education experts. Simply, it is your one-stop shop. Finally, you may need some additional help when developing a school culture where physical education and physical activity are foundational to academic success. So each action item includes a national expert that you can contact for free technical assistance. For example, if you get stuck implementing physical activity breaks or brain energizers at your school, just email or call Sean Brock, our National Physical Education and Physical Activity Advisor, who will help you guide yourself to success. We hope you learned how simple it is to ace your assessment and action plan. If you need personalized help, please click on Help at the top of the webpage to contact our Customer Support Center via phone or email. We look forward to working with you to get our nation's kids moving again and help each kid reach their potential both in the classroom and in life. This completes our brief walkthrough of the Let's Move Active Schools Assessment and Action Plan. Please take a few minutes right now to complete your school's assessment after you log in at www.letsmoveschools.org. After you complete your assessment, you can discover the many resources and tools in your action plan that Pam talked about. Thank you for joining us and keep up the great work at your active school.